to finals, but never before has that finals been a LAN for big. So let's see what they can offer us here on their map pick. It's going to be Dust 2, and it's going to be Perfecto to open up, dropping bomb in that suicide lane. I love this little bit of CT aggression, but there is a chance for big to claw it back. Lower tunnels being held onto. If they can pinch middle perfectly, then maybe they get these CTs stuck up in these forward spots. Searson will find simple through smoke, but Perfecto backs up. And what about Boomich? Well, he's got a headshot at the very least, but he's still surrounded. Bit in with a kill. Perfecto comes in for second servings, and this is looking like it's all done and dusted. That was a dirty disengage there by Perfecto. And the loose piece was Boomich at the top of mid, and he had the freedom to roam around and take the first duel. He was going to be the first Kamaliing from the T side, which is interesting and actually causes some, some kind of a good balance. But at the same time, the map is becoming more CT sided. However, it has, it has equalized a little bit. Um, there was the fear Kerrigan put down that said, this is going to be the most CT-sided map in the pool. And after, you know, Alexi B had that thousand utility damage half, oh people thought it was going to be real. But it's, since then, it's not been so bad. There have been too many maps where it felt like that. Crazy that we got such a good example of it from Alexi B so early on, but then we haven't really seen somebody else go like kind of, you know, as dominant. And that's one of the cool things about Alexi. We, you know, we, we praise him even prior to the Nade update for having such consistent utility usage and damage. And then he just gives us that whirlwind of a record. Still, nobody else putting themselves on that caliber. But. Alexi didn't qualify, Scrawn. I know, man. I just, you know, I'm going to use any chance I can to talk about Friggin the Friggin' sucks. Friggin' sucks. Cat has become one of the most contested and powerful spots for the CTs to fight back against. Even though it was easy before, now because of the amount of angles that you have to throw nades onto it from either mid or uh, from CT spawn has made it treacherous for the T's to get any kind of map control early. But yeah, here's a little bit of that utility damage. Coming in now, electronic on the site. Nice spot when there's no mollies. Yeah, exactly. So he's good for now. Just tucks in, waits long enough. Pops up, finds Keto. Electronic gonna go out into the open here. Seeing as Long's being pushed, this does prime the scout player to take him down, but Electronic still stands on 28, uh -oh. and that's gonna be enough HP for him, Perfecto and Simple, to To deny you that information. And sometimes people will throw empty flashes over the cross to make it seem like you crossed in case a scout is holding, and then they can no longer guarantee that info. But other than that, if no one does throw anything, that scout is that scouter op is gonna have so much undeniable information. Betway odds ever in the favor of Navi coming into the series, and even more so now. 2-0 start, nice and easy. Glocks, P250, Desert Eagle between Gade and Keto. And you can see the top suicide smoke from the CT side makes things tricky. And it's interesting because those boxes used to be used, but now they're so integral for how those engagements go down. Bit will take his risk of the round. Peek into mid, see nobody. Well, after he kills one. And this leaves big with very few options. Simple gonna look to do his bit. And, ooh, even doubles down on it. Okay. Third, four, simple, easy. You know, the number one titles, especially this one coming up uh, this year, which is crazy because I don't think there's ever been a, a year in history where it was just a foregone conclusion who would be number one this early on. But, uh... There's still the idea that uh, Navi could desperately, you know, want to put down an era while they're hot. And I think that is pretty much the last thing that uh, it's simple or anyone on the team really needs to be able to say they've done it all. So hopefully they don't get that era and then they'll continue to play for a very long time. <laughs> Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> we'll always get to watch simple play yeah, over said, and over again. You know, he said he wanted another Intel Grand Slam to be the first team to win two Intel Grand Slams. That would be great because it pairs with the, you know, online Grand Slam that had Cologne in it, but not, yep. you know, not totally online. And then, you know, also just casually, maybe a couple more majors. Why not? Because it's, for but some, seemingly so easy. Nice little bit of mid-control here from Big, playing with the grenades over top of it. Electronics got an angle, and I like this. Boomich, he's found a bigger box than that on Banana, and he's going to stay perched on it. <laughs> yeah, always going for the high ground, wherever it can be. We call him Big Blue Boomich. And Tizian, well, 
We'll see if his patience can pay off as he remains tucked inside of the long door. Simple. You can tell they smell this already. Mm -hmm. Electronics waiting for the rotate, and Simple will go and check on long as well. And they see the lower player as well, which is going to make it so unnerving here for Big, and they're covering all the positions perfectly. Oh, Why does Simple just have the deagle? Oh, my God. Because <laughs> style points. Yeah. Electronic comes out of that CT smoke, clears Tabson right away. So total long shutdown. Nice opening pick from Electronic into underpass or bottom tunnels, making sure that he deals... An easy and early opening blow. Closing out on the retake as well. Big Clan, you can have your bomb plant. We've got four alive for Navi and a very comfortable start to their CT side. I saw Blade in the elevator um, on the way down to the hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if I've ever seen him before in person. Maybe I have, actually. ESWC? Yeah, no, I have. I have. But we never talked. And he looked at me and he said, Where are you going? <laughs> so I'm going blast. He said, Hmm. <laughs> that's it. That's all you got? I was wearing a goddamn suit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in Copenhagen. Yes, I'm going to blast. I'm going to cast your game. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and that's why Navi are so hard to read. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. All right. Armored upgraded pistols. Nice bit of utility here for big. I'm down with that. Here's the problem. If they die before they use that utility, it's all for nothing, and we're not going to get to see some kind of orchestrated genius from a half-buy like this. Simple inside of doors. Oh, that's a warning shot for Gul. Don't say his name properly. Gul. <laughs> we did a podcast here, a first live podcast recording yesterday during the media day, and it was nothing but a Danish crowd. I was talking about Big, and I said, you know, uh, God, did I pronounce that right? And every single Dane in that little crowd looked back at me and gave me a different pronunciation. Okay. Not even the Danes can agree, I tell you. Okay. So we'll Perfect. continue with Gade. Ghoul. There's no L in that. Man, it's so clear. It feels so clear to Navi exactly what Big are doing in each of these rounds right now. You can tell the smoke's getting thrown down at the correct timings. Of course, they're throwing down one on Cat just in case as well, but look at this position from Bit, and he's standing right in front of where the flashes will pop. Oh, that's beautiful. No intimidation versus Bit. So ready for them to commit. And Perfecto gets his names on this easy frags as well. So 5-0 for Navi. I know you want to say 60 no, but don't say it. I, I, excuse me, oh my God. I don't. That they, looks like they have any edge. I mean, uh, Susan's not shooting hot right now. Their T side looks obvious to Navi from what we can see from all their utility yeah. and setups. Like, Lauders, three of Navi's players haven't even died yet. Yeah, yeah, it's a problem. Electronic, it's an issue. seven to zero. And uh, meanwhile, two of Big's players haven't even killed yet. They've only got three kills in total this game. No. Oh. We can get enamored by tactics and strategy, but at the end of the day, you got to murder. Mm -hmm. You know, with the right reason. Yeah, I'm gonna put it like that. Find your cause. No easy site to go to. Establishing space on T side is such a nightmare, but they save for their utility. And if they're careful and they work hard enough in the round, of course, they can eventually push the CTs back. It's the re-aggressions that are going to be difficult. We'll see if Boomich pushes this round or if he just chills. Ooh, dude, this consistency in the flashbangs. Every time Searson tries to get his eyes into the site, he's met with utility. Wow. Good frag grenade and a nice opening from Bit. Perfecto's locked in behind the car, goes down. That's what they need. Okay. That is the B site cracked open. Keto and Tabson doing a good job, but they do still have two players on Big who are low. And so we'll go into the retake from Navi. I don't know. This is, I mean, this is normally a round where you just be like, save, but they're winning by mm -hmm. so much. And there might be a free kill here, actually, for Boomich. Going to take that a long route is. all the way around through spawn. However, he's starting to back off, so they can actually camp both exits. And you still... Searson can save, but Keto and Tapson are, I think, too low to save in the side. I'm not sure exactly. Oi, oi, Tapson. Hey, that was your chance to exit. Instead, he... How dare you peek simple into <laughs> CT spawn? You know what? They got to, though, right? Because if they play scared, they're going to be even more predictable. Oof. Um, One and two. Yeah, I guess they're a little bit worried. See, that, that, those are the two players that couldn't save in the site anyways. Yep. They knew they couldn't go tunnels. So Searson will stay alive. Probably the most important target since he has the off to take over. It's Perfecto who goes down without one and Bits just not able to get a second. But you said that. It's going to be good. This is going to be such a sick week of Counter-Strike, man. Blast <clears> two <throat> years of online productions. Yes, sir. And uh, we're back at it where we belong. Simple. 
getting a little adventurous here. Searson tagged down to half health. Again, this grenade damage that comes through on the tunnels is good, but Searson's going to disrespect this smoke. It's a bit poofier, a bit plumier, oh. and Perfecto, a little bit of a different position. Not tucked behind the bricks, but instead stands on top of them, and another grenade comes in. It's such a struggle for Big to get beyond this exit, and yet they've found an entrance to the site they'll go. Tabson, gonna have his hands busy, but none of the CTs are here towards the double doors. None of the CTs are outside of window. And as that smoke begins to fade, we're gonna watch all that's left of Navi work around from tunnels. Yeah. Smoking a frag grenade on Boomich. Simple still playing that off. Tizian worried more so about the doors, and Tabson's going to look back here. So he's got that little bit of cover inside of the site, just beneath the window. Can't win his duel. It falls onto Tizian. He's looking for the trio of frags, but he looks away because he would have never believed that they went for the all-in on tunnels, and it's an excellent call for Navi's retake to give them a sixth round win. Yeah, just as you characterize it, it's a pretty rare thing to do to go for the, the triple tunnels retake. We see Navi retake in a number of ways. You can't do it the same way every single time. But that one, they moved so quickly, it was going to be hard to read, right? Especially with the timing that Boomich came out of the tunnels after they had all walked as well. It's only because they were so deliberate, so quick. And uh, no matter how you swing it, even if they were coming from door, window, and the tunnel, it's going to be tough for Tizia. So you can't put all that blame on him. But you do need results right now if you're big. And there's one. Searson with the boost on Tabson through suicide, catches Perfecto down the mid lane, and we've got Navi, man disadvantage, right out of the gates of round eight. Oh, but as quick as they fall, they recover. Yeah, this is a, a Simple good, stuck in. This is a good round to push lower, and I'll talk about it in a second, but oh, Woo! somehow, wow, that was tricky from Gate. He does a little dance yeah. and gets simple to miss. Little, uh, little Danish two-step. Meanwhile, Boomich got the cover, oh. nice. Oh wait, that's not his second kill. It's a Searson team kill in the middle of Boomich's double. Three casualties for Big on long, and that takes any success that Gade was looking to create in middle and just upends it all. That's uh, that's tragic. What can you say about that? They needed that trade. Boomich didn't even have to fall back on the smoke that he had. He was going to probably take a duel, drop that smoke, you know, connect the car to the wall, stay there if they try to molly him, but delay for time. But instead. All three frags, no problem. Um, so Simple takes this free lower kill, and the, the, reason, the reason that it's possible, it's a good round to do it, it's because they're low on utility, and you have to use extra utility in taking lower now, because there are so, so often that a CT can push, since you can't spot it from a T spawn. And so, you know, it's, it's tactical when you decide to go for the lower pushes, not just when you feel like it's a good read. That was both a good read, but also a round where Big could not just like waste utility throughout the round. And it's just become so demanding on the T economy. Um, and it's not, it's not actually just the economy because things are cheap. It's just the fact that you have a total amount of utility and then a total round time. And the CTs have all these options right now. And you've got to decide like, where are you going to flash the opera off? How many times are you going to do it? If you're going to layer the flash and then in some of those peaks, you're going to take some risks. You know, maybe you don't yeah. want to alert somebody that That's you're flashing life. lower or taking cat control in a certain way. It was a nice shot, though. It was. Yeah, clean. Yeah. That was Mafia style, right in the back of the head. They never, they never see it coming. <laughs> they never see it. Decimal system, yes. figure out what chapter. Dewey we're. Decimal. Okay. What a stupid name. <laughs> Sorry, Dewey's Yeah, what about Dewey? His name yeah. is Dewey. He didn't, yeah. pick, he didn't pick it. Well, Imagine being named Donald, though. Oh, Donald. Sorry, Boo. AK for Gade. Save from the last round. This is a quick one. I like this. Big Clan kind of at least, you know, playing around with a little bit more tempo. We've seen them come through middle. That's, ooh, I like that. We are seeing utility being left in the T-spawn, and we'll see if that staves off Big Clan's commitment bit. He's going to very quickly attack them from the back as Boomich cuts one off the front. It's a desperate attempt at the bomb plant, but hey, they got it. Headshots in abundance from Navi. Clear cookie cutter kills. 8-1 lead. In some ways, Bit is like a crocodile because he's like a, or a shark or something. He's like a dinosaur that survived, right? Because he's proof that the M4A4 is worth using. And he's the only living proof of that Ooh, right now. Oh, that's you know true. That's true. So, that's true. Yeah. I guess, wait, alligators aren't, they're not, they're not dinosaurs, right? It's sharks are though. I can't remember. One has a rounded snout. The other has a pointy snout. Which one's which? I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't my question. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Well, uh, we'll see if they can point their snout into one of these sites and get a successful bomb down. Because it's been hard for them. They got close on the cat play. Marginally close. Marginally. But Simple looking to chomp down on somebody top middle, but his smoke begins to fade, so he backs up cat. I like that. Calculated risk. Doesn't feel comfortable. Confident to just let it go and try elsewhere. Look at his mobility. Throwing himself over towards long to help out Boomich, who I believe is on blue box yet once more. No, he's behind it. It's interesting because this game we haven't even prioritized HEs for Navi. Mm -hmm. They've just gone with like regular sets of utility. And they're, and maybe they bought uh, ones that they used earlier on this round. I'm not sure. Actually, if we could take a look at spawn at some point. But it looks like the B hit might come down now. Yes, sir. Yet once more. Bit on top of boxes. Good first kill. Collapses back into the car position and looks for his second of this B site hold. Easy peasy for Bit and Perfecto commits to the peak, finding Bomb and leaving Searson all alone towards Cat. Tizzy and back in tunnels. An unfortunate one for Big Clan yet once more. It looks like they were given a little space. You know, they weren't fragged out the moment they tried to get out tunnels. They weren't smoked off as they tried to inch their way closer as we've seen with previous rounds. They were given space to work. But it was all just a ruse. It was all just one big trap. They're making a big decision to try the contact place. They could be throwing a full B exec. Navi have a fantastic one that they'll probably show us in the second half. But they could be throwing a full B exec with nades through the sky or through the ceiling. But they're deciding to go with the contacts. And there's not anything inherently bad about that, of course, because if you exec, sometimes you become too telegraphable. But in uh, in this situation, they've tried the contact play like three times, and they've gotten decimate to go to. Who knows how well Bit would have been playing back then? And you know, none of the players on Navi were as good as are, are uh, were as good as they are now in May, right? But right now, there's just no easy sight to take. And they've just got so much talent between the five, and it's as simple as good crosshair placement and reactions there on that hold, right? And also doing a good job of just kind of separating the tether that was between the second and third player out of tunnels. You saw Tabson trying to hunt into the backside, draws a guy right into bit. So, snip with the scissors. Electronic, 10 rounds in, yet to die. Oh, you mentioned it again. I was waiting to see how far we could go with it. <laughs> but now you know he's going to die. And it's all your fault. No, I called I called and the 16 it's all once, you your fault. Okay. You did call a 16 one so Thank like 4-0 four, four into the game. Yeah, that was cool. But I also thought that Liquid were going to win today. Well. <laughs> Maybe I was, uh, it was Hopium. It was Hopium. If, uh, you know, if it helps you feel any better, you also thought FaZe was going to win. <laughs> so at least you're consistently wrong. Yeah, that one was less of a, less trolley and also a little close. Okay. Very disappointing. All right. So, <laughs> that, that one I don't regret, but I am sad about it. Sure. I like this position from Electronic. Oh, he's going to die, isn't he? Ah. Okay, never mind. Oh, you, oh, you rat. In all the Who, best ways. Him? Electronic. Okay. Look, he's, he's got a hand off his keyboard. He literally, he's scratch. He... Okay, he's back. Back in action. Two-hand gamer. Simple. Nice distraction from inside sight. Electronic springs his trap. And uh, Simple's going to confirm numbers over towards Long. Tizian's AK. Good for a few headshots here. Gade's going to get cut off on the corner, and there's just no time at this point. So, Tizian, you better run, and you better hide, and you better hold on to that AK for everything it's worth, because we've got Navi on fire. 10-1 CT side. But, uh, you know, versus Navi, who don't have any problems on Dust2, plus they've got better players. It, it, just, it, it just supersedes the tactics and the little kinds of innovations that you can come up with. Sure. Navi going to unleash two beasts. Simple down here in tunnel. Bit to the top of mid, and both endeavors are successful. One of them is cut down early. Simple traded out straight away, but this does still leave Bit lingering in top mid. Nobody's going to come help him just yet. Electronic starting to round the corners of Cat. Bit doing a good job of trying to extend time in that situation. However, Electronic isn't able to trade it back, so we do have Big formulating an even 3v3. Oh, finally, an interesting mid round to try to pick apart. So perfect. Finally, he says. Yeah, yeah. we've got down to a three-on-three, three and uh, Navi has to think. So what will they do? They're in a good position to rotate off Cat, but they don't know if it's going to be a late long play from Big. So a lot of emphasis on Perfecto's hold. He's just going to tuck oh, they in. Pushed. They pushed. Yeah, I made some footsteps. That's going to be the trigger for the call. We can see Navi starting to clear out middle. Keto's looked in and locked into the fight. Does just 20-something damage. Gade trades it. 
And the CT is looking to split. Incendiary over the top. Oh, nice shot. Yeah. Searson hits it. Gates Molly on point. Boomich inside of the grenade. 80 He's HP. Dying. Oh, electronic from beyond the grave. And Boomich <laughs> took a second, <laughs> but he realizes he's, he's already won. He's out the window. He's coming in the door. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Bermuda square. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. That was nice. Perfecto. What he's doing there is giving them a little shadow and then he's swinging out again. Yeah. So he's trying to get them to crouch and sh pit. He's inside. in the grill pit. Yeah. Oi, oi. More utility damage. Ooh, late nade usage. Electronic. Ooh, gets the better. Distracts very well. Boomage two kills. Tabson right back. Nice headshot onto Electronic to try and activate this long push, but Simple's locked in. And yeah, Molly, not gonna flush him out. Two ops in this situation for Navi. Flashbangs and grenades in abundance. They're gonna l launch a man over top. Hell, it works. Some ambitious no scopes trying to connect, but it looks like Big just wanna leave that. Oh, Searson just kind of nope. flirts around too long. And for that reason, it's turned back to the 2v2. Yeah, they don't have the bomb down just yet. No way they got away with the Another, cross. Wow, a that, dry cross. Yeah, that's He's a, still in the open. Perfecto, 100 health, but okay. Tapson firing Jeez. hot. Three kills in this round. He got that one versus Electronic. He's able to push forward, kill the last two guys down in CT spawn and gets it done. And, I mean, that's just Tapson, I think, kind of opening himself up to try and find impact. He's standing on the car cross. He knows Keto's locked into sight. Just looking for duels and taking them away because at this point, Big needs something. Oh, it was a confidence move there from Tabson. They really need it. And he's the guy who leads from the front. You know, he's kind of an aggressive IGL, can be a top performer, volatile position, not having a, an amazing game, but overall is someone they rely on to frag as well as lead. So heavy long control here from uh, Navi, but I think they do it on kind of like grenade, so it won't be totally clear to big. There'll be so many players out here. Oof. Traded perfectly. Boomich with the double. Bomb down, simple blind. Go! And then no friction whatsoever, and they just fell into the trap of three players holding and waiting. Mm -mm -mm. But, yeah, that could have been just a gamble. Simple going to let loose, runs to the top of middle, op in hand, tizzy in. Oh! Distracted. Taps him. Attacks him from the bottom of tunnels. And this is a good little bit of mid control from Big. Where do they go from here? They got a man advantage. They had to work hard for it, looking for a three. 12 half, 3 12 half. You know what's nice about this round? What? Uh, big don't have to play this half anymore after it. <laughs> oh, that's a silver lining, I think. Oh, but bit headshot in through mid. He knows that Gade's up close. Boomich gonna do a good job of cutting another player off of middle, but it's really this attack through the tunnels. It slips out, but they're not watching window, and Keto with just the deagle cannot make it happen. 55 seconds for Gade in the 1v3. They know exactly where he has to come in from. They know exactly what he needs in that bomb, and he just needs to look for some crisp, clean kills, but that's not gonna that's a tough one, man. It's tough when you're playing, you know, just, uh, uh so what is it? Oh, uh, that's right, major champions. We get to play CT side, Copium. <laughs> We'll see if it can make any kind of a difference. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a nice shot. Simple. See you later. Navi, odds skewed as heavily in their favor as possible for the Betway. You know, that's really the confirmation. That's the confirmation I need, Betway. Thank you. But it is a 5v4, and it could be a CT side that's got a little kick in it. A little life, a little pizzazz. What are the Scovilles? Say mm, 9,000. 9,000? A little yeah. habanero. Just then. a little over 9,000. Yeah. Okay. Some Vegeta habaneros. <laughs> Kakarot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those CT's a little bit timid, huh? They know Navi's getting closer and closer, but nobody it looking for a follow up frag. They do peek off of the catwalk, but it looks like Navi <clears> want to go through <throat> mid, and that's a great grenade. Bit takes a ton of damage, and uh, Big are poising themselves nicely, but ooh, they just gave up Cat. Wow, they're... Oh, they're they gave up oh, Cat. Oh, man, they're gonna hear all these steps, too. Whoa, Navi are going fast. Oh, but Tapson's got at least... Ooh, ooh. only one. Searson's still down into the CT spawn. It's a two versus three to the favor of Big, but the retake, well, that's not to their favor at all.
Boomich. Oh, tried to keep his head down. Now Perfecto's gonna have to come in with the clutch and he locks himself into the wizard's corner. This is where the magic happens. Perfecto dead, dead to rights. And Big Clan only trailing by 10 rounds. It was a very confident way that they took Cap because Big Clan just showed face like two seconds before that and then uh, Navi said, all right, they might go ahead and try something different. They ran up Cat, got that bomb down, which is huge. And moving on to this next round, it's uh, tough. It's strange. Full kit for, for, for Perfecto. And an eight apiece. Oh, 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 that was beautiful. Well, see you later, Keto. Hope wow. you're having fun. It was one of three targets. I, uh... Keto drew the short straw this time. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Wow, and they all just got decimated at long, too. Easy pickups here for Navi, so the Force Buys worked out, but check out the damage. Ooh, could have primed the Scout very nicely. Wait, he's wearing a, using a Blood in the Water. Bro, three out of the four, Mohan. Three out of the four, tagged low, and Gade's got a Famas. He just need as many kills in this round as he has all no game No way long. you try to make this sound like he could win. I'm just saying. You're such a kid. There are as many movie voice There are as many stripes on this Famas as kills that he needs. All right, dude. And when pressure mounts, okay. heroes come to play. Pablo Francisco over here. With a smoke and a molly, <laughs> he waits. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, so is Gabe. He's just going to save. Ooh. No chance. Ooh. You just don't do it anymore. Ooh. 2021, 1v4, no way. You don't even think about it. Just save, man. You just die with a bomb. Everybody's just investing in their futures nowadays. So smart. God. So annoying. What happened to living on the edge? Yes. What happened to throwing caution to the wind? Live a little. Go for the highlights. All right. Well, that Famas is not alone. Big Clan will also have a scout and a few upgraded pistols to work with. But that 11-round lead is looking more and more daunting as Na'Vi get to the cusp of a win on Dust 2. Three players into the tunnels from Na'Vi straight away. Wow. Two defenders on B from big. Look, they called him out again. They, he, Electronic saw all that long presence and then did the thing where you get to the, you get to the outpost behind blue bin. You're supposed to wait and let them retake you. And then you either escape and make it seem like you're there, just de delay for time. But he calls them out that they're going to leave off of that and then immediately takes long control by himself with everyone in tunnels. The CTs are doing nothing right now. And uh, Navi have options right now because of Electronic. Not doing nothing. I mean, they are trying, Launders. Yeah. They're trying their best, and maybe they'll be able to corral some of these T's in middle. Grenade down to the tunnels will so, be good enough. That's a quarter damage on bit. Right now, they're expecting the mid push and the cap push. You see this Molotov come out. We see, like, presence here. Yep, and it's off to a good start. First frag, second as well. Oh. And if the pistols can come into this mix, then maybe Big can throw a wrench. Oh, no. Into the works. Boomich going to do some work. Shuts down Tapson on his escapade from Catwalk. Keto, I like this, though. Not waiting around in this B site, not just sitting back on his haunches, but being proactive, making a move forward. And maybe the timing works out for him versus Boomich. Boomich snaps down, but he will still fall. So Perfecto is on for the 1v3, and he's got a quick, fast track into this B bomb site. It's all about whether he gets caught on the cross, and Searson will be smoked off. So now it becomes that much more daunting. Perfecto, as long as he plants with cover towards tunnels, shouldn't be stopped. But Tizian, with a very narrow angle, will deny the bomb plant and deny a 15th for Navi. That's Big Clan with their force. Oh, the setup works out beautifully. I thought that Na uh, Navi were going to be good because they got the molly down on Cat, and if the mid door was disjointed from the Cat push, then maybe they get caught off guard. But there were some nice pistol shots that got hit. He'd also hit a really key one dig right there. That would have opened up tunnels in the B site. 2v2, that would have been insurmountable to come and try to retake the site when they were that far away. And oh, there's the blue spruce. He he had borrowed the he at least the. He'll blood never water. change. He'll yeah. never change from the blue spruce. Thought he did once, but he did, and he regretted it. Yeah, never again. He'll never go back. Maybe it's time to change though. He's not having a. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Smoke over top. Keto's like I can play that game. So a little exchange of utility here towards the tunnels and Boomich. Ooh. Looking to parade his way around the cat corners. Doing his jig. Dancing around in mid. And more smoke grenades to kind of stop things. Electronic, though, that's that's one of the players you don't want to run into at the moment. 
The best equipped member of Navi, Perfecto and Co, have walked out into this B site. I can't believe that. Oof. The mid presence is enough to just vacuum the players out of B from big. A five on five situation, and they evacuated both of their B players. Navi slip through into the site, plant their bomb, and establish man advantage. And desperation. That's what big stink of in this situation. Simple scout headshot into gate. It's not looking good for big one bit. Oh, what a tough pill to swallow. And they're just going to go chasing, go prancing down around the mid doors, chasing oh, every okay. single player. What a perfect call from Navi. Yeah. The exec on the site is very careful. They don't just run in. Nice shot. What well, goes around comes around. A little revenge for Keto on the previous rounds. Um, but this could still very easily be the last round of the game. Bits watching the mid push here from Tapson. And that slows down the attack a little bit. Only three here to stop him. Let's see it, Searson. It's got to be here. It's got to be now. He gives up a little bit of space, and that gap he was hoping to abuse is smoked off. So a bit more pressure falls on Tizian. Looking like he wants to stay committed to the cover. Looks like he wants to take one with him. Oh, but a missed first shot will land the second. That's decent enough. And we get this quick flank in from Tapson. Bit currently not looking back the other direction. Tapson takes his time, oh. misses his chance, hits the damage, but it's not enough for the frag. And in the meantime, Navi doing a good job of cutting everybody down. Searson trades it, and it's on to Bit for the clutch. The AK 